Oh, I'm back again. Okay, so first step is that we had to, uh, first of all, I had to disguise the ring. So I've actually sprayed it with a bit of paint and then I've gone along with some bullion wire to make a zigzag formation. So can you see across? And that is then going to hold the test tubes. I don't know whether you can see that. So the test tubes are being held in there. Now I'm going to show you some other things that people are up to because this lot that right Julie tell it explain what you've done here it's right. a stunning design right. isn't it I have lots and lots of this in my garden yeah so I'm Amaranthus yeah so I have some parapole par yeah from years ago yeah and so I dropped some string into it and then twirled it around some shapes to make yeah. a twirly thing and then carefully took them off and I'm hoping that that will hold my flowers in place. In, we shall see. in little test tubes. And lots of test tubes. Yeah. So the power pole is like a, a, fi a fast, so um, it's a glue. glue. Would, yeah. And it's used for sculpting um, outdoor materials. So it's waterproof. And here's Jenny's. You can see that no one's doing what I'm doing today. So, <laughs> so Jenny, what are you up to? So this is um, aluminium wire which I've cut into lengths and cable tied together and sprayed. Yeah. And cable tied some test tubes on. Yeah. Uh, because I wasn't sure whether I was going to be able to get the stems in the water source. So that is to that is the back. So that is going to um, support the arrangement. So I want to put the flowers in in a flowing motion. Brilliant. Lovely. See, totally different than mine. And Jane, what I'm interpretation? Just, I'm just copying you to a great extent, apart from the fact that it's going to be a lot heavier because I've used bark to support my ring. Yeah. And then I'm going, I'm wiring the ring and the flower stems will go down through the wire into the water source on the stone bowl below. A bit more eco-friendly, no test tubes involved no, in this no, one. Test yes, tubes so we've got a nice deep bowl for this one. Yes, yeah, a lovely deep bowl. Yeah, and the bark, I suppose that will absorb the water, won't be a problem. It's perfectly fine in water. Yeah, yeah. there we go. Lovely selection of garden flowers here. Marianne's got a different take on it again. Well, it's much like what James doing. Yeah. Last bowls, one inside the other, so already filling with water, but it's a bit yeah. wobbly. Yeah. But then, um, putting the ring on top and then just the flower straight flowers in, in yes. yeah and then the flowers will wedge between these two here oh, yes. which will stabilize yeah. it perfect yeah. looking lovely selection of garden flowers here as well it's Jen, Jenny, mm -hmm. Jenny, Jenny. Yes. yeah but um, in, in fact I think my platter is um, superfluous because I've got a large bowl didn't uh, have to take all the stems yeah so I've got some quite big wow look at all this to um yeah, so, and that will be in the uh, inner frame. You're inner going in, frame. going yes. into the bowl rather on the outside of the yes. bowl. Yes. Okie dokes, perfect. Yes. And Stella is going to be doing the same as me with this one, aren't you, Stella? Yes. <laughs> Brilliant. Okie dokes. Right there, you go. So we're going to start putting the flowers in now. Um, this is one here that Karen made at the level twos, which is beautiful. So I'm going to unpick this one, recycle. We've got some more flower arrangements over there. But join us again later and see what they did. Bye.